Cade Slinky. Hey people, Cade Slinky here. How we doing? So I thought I'd do a quick video today just going through um, three characters that I think really need a good buff, a good rework to the game. I mean, there's quite a few you can choose from. And as I've said before in my tier list that everyone has a favorite character do you know what i mean if one character i don't like other people out there might like that character and use them a lot more and as i, I always say with this game it depends on your roster and who you've got as well but these are my kind of top three characters that i really think just could do a, a bit of a rework so let's kick straight in there and my first one that i'm going to pick on is Futmos. and it's such a shame because the character design it looks so cool but it's just, it's got this, yeah, normal damage, do you know what I mean? And the ability nugs or attack bonuses and modifiers is pretty good, to be fair. But it's kind of, next skill, it's just, it's passive. It's just could have been better, I think. I mean, yeah, it does damage, but moving to pass it, it's just, I, I feel like this this guy, as soon as you've done it, move to him, it's, you can find a better character that can do a lot more damage and have an extra skill with him compared to this guy. That's how I feel. I just feel like he needs um, just needs something add into this. Yeah, keep the skill as in doing direct damage when he comes to a random adjacent enemy. But if he can do something like stop them from damaging more or provide some kind of shield, I just think that will make this guy just so much more better and having him in with other Necrons as well. So yeah, I just think the skill needs an upgrade. I just, it does the damage, but I think it should kind of any enemy that's around him kind of has minuses it kind of electrocutes him shocks him i think that'd be really cool for this guy and would help him because he just he just gets forgotten about it's just you could pick so much more better necrons if you like that faction and this guy and plenty of other characters that's so much better than him and it's a shame i mean apart from that he's got the normal living metal but that's it he just he needs it needs a bit more love in this guy and i hope he does one day because he is a cool looking character Next on my list of my top three is Rotbone. Now, I've said before, Rotbone, again, cool looking character. The detail on him is, is so cool with the head on the back and everything, but he's got the normal kind of attack, so he heals himself and units around him. If chaos, do you know what I mean? That's just, that's what he does. And it's this, it's the adjacent friendly chaos unit that takes lethal damage, has 75% to resurrect immediately with, if overkilled, it can really trigger once per turn. So that's a friendly chaos unit, that's nothing else. And once you've done that, that's it. Many times I've tried him out and like he's a resurrected them and great, but then like another swarm will just kill him straight off and you just think, well, it's just a waste of time having this character in my eyes. Again, if it could kind of keep the resurrection, I think what would make this guy really good is if the resurrection took place at the end of the turn. That would be much better for this guy. Is definitely a bit of a buff. Because um, that chance then, loads of times, if you resurrect him and you just get killed straight after. So if it was at the end of the turn, the person you re resurrected got a chance to kind of heal him up or use him. Because um, like, once he's resurrected and been killed straight off, it's just his skills is useless. And for healing... Do you know what I mean? There's much better healers out there when you get a hold of them than this guy. So, unfortunately, yeah, this, again, it's just such a shame because it's such a great looking character like they all are. But it just needs something else. It's got resilience and that, like a normal um, faction. But, yeah, it, it just, it's so cool. cool but, unfortunately, just I, I, I've tried and tried and it's just got no use for him. So, he is my second person that... Unfortunately, needs a bit of a buff. Um, last, and no means least, is Snapper Wrecker. Now, again, as I'm going to keep saying, as all, I, all the characters look so cool. Um, it's like some kind of awkward spin. But it's this skill. This rams into a target, um, and you'd suffer some damage. What kind of skill do you want that you can suffer damage with? It's just terrible. really is. Um, I never use it. Purely because it's just, yeah, you're going to cause some really damage, but if you go run out there into the field and cause some damage on someone, if you kill him, great. But if not, he's stuck up there by himself and he will just get wrecked. So, yeah, I just think that, again, could do with being better. It'd be great if he can kind of go up there and do some damage, um, but then kind of 
not take any damage and just kind of go go in himself just in his in his bin just literally sits there and just takes no damage after that'd be better uh, that'd be really cool drumming mean, you can imagine him running up there doing some damage hopefully not taking any damage himself but then just go into hiding i think that would make this guy so much better he's got his spinning blades which it's a, it's a great little attack for melee drumming I mean, ignoring armor uh, permanently reduces the armor's target by 21 it's a pretty good little melee damage but Again, that's all he's got. You don't want a character that can like, lose health. I, I don't think, anyway, personally. Um, I prefer to take characters that sort of do some damage and have some great skills with them. But yeah, this this guy, he, he needs something. He needs some loving as, as well as uh, most of the other orcs, but mainly this guy. I just He's got a great range. He can move about quite a bit, but that's all he's got. Do you know what I mean? And unfortunately, yeah, he does need some loving um so yeah like i say I, I could pick a few more but they're my main three that i'd love to see more you never really see them on the battlefield because nobody just uses them um and it's, it's a shame because they're, they're great characters and they have got potential but you, you never see them in an arena team well i personally don't I, ne I never see them i only use them if i need to use them in certain modes but I think if they had a bit more loving, do you know what I mean? I think these guys could be used a lot more, utilise their skill, because they've all got half decent skills, it just needs to encounter with them. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys find any use for these three characters, or is there any characters out there that you really think that needs a good buff soon? I mean, normally, once a month we'll get some kind of balance changes, but I feel like these need a bit more of a rework, I think, on the skills. Hopefully that will come soon. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to check out some other videos. And also hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Take care. Bye-bye.